Saint Lucia Country Profile Capital, Castries Population, 182,790 Total Size, 616 Square Kilometers World Region or Continent, Central America Type of Government, Parliamentary Democracy Languages Spoken, English, Official, French Patois Independence, February 22, 1979, from UK Currency, East Caribbean Dollar, XED Saint Lucia is an island nation in the Caribbean Sea The island is considered part of the Windward Islands and gets its name from the French who named it after Saint Lucie of Syracuse The first inhabitants were the Native American Arawaks Later the Caribs took over the island The Spanish first landed on the island in the late 15th or early 16th century, however the first trading posts weren't established until the 17th century. They faced difficulty from the unfriendly Caribs. In 1815 the English took control of the island primarily to develop the sugar industry. In 1979 St. Lucia became a fully independent country although the country still considers Queen Elizabeth II its queen. The island is a member of CARICOM, the Caribbean community and common market. Two Nobel laureates call St. Lucia home, Derek Walcott and Arthur Lewis. Archaeological evidence found on the island suggests that St. Lucia has been inhabited since between 1000 BC and 500 BC when the Arawak people first settled the island. St. Lucia was first sighted by Europeans in 1501 when Christopher Columbus spotted the island. During 150 years of conflict throughout the 17th and early 18th centuries, Britain and France repeatedly fought for possession of St. Lucia. The island changed ownership 14 times in total. During 150 years of conflict throughout the 17th and early 18th centuries, Britain and France repeatedly fought for possession of St. Lucia. The island changed ownership 14 times in total. Tourism is the main source of income for St. Lucia and the industry is its biggest employer. Before the tourism boom, banana exports sustained St. Lucia, especially after 1964 when it stopped producing sugar cane. However, following a 1993 fall in the price of bananas, the industry saw a significant downturn. St. Lucia is known for the twin pyramids of volcanic rock rising distinctly from the sea, gross and petty pitons are 798 meters, 2,619 feet, and 743 meters, 2,437 feet, high respectively. The Pitons are St. Lucia's only UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Pitons management area includes the two volcanic spires, the piton miton Ridge that connects the two cones, a geothermal field, hot springs and the surrounding sea. The site is a diverse habitat for flora and fauna and is home to 148 plant species, 168 finfish species, 60 nidaria species, 8 mollusks, 14 sponges, 11 echinoderms, 15 arthropods and 8 annelid worms. There are also 27 bird species, 5 of which are endemic, 3 indigenous rodents, 1 opossum, 3 bats, 8 reptiles and 3 amphibians. In 2010, St. Lucia was hit by Hurricane Thomas which killed 14 people, triggered landslides and caused considerable damage in the Soufriere area. St. Lucia is home to the world's only drive-in volcano. The sulfur springs do not have a crater or magma like a normal volcano, but instead, have smelly pools of boiling mud that releases clouds of sulfur gas. The national bird of St. Lucia is the St. Lucia parrot, which can only be found on the island. The parrot is endangered due to habitat loss caused by deforestation. The majority of St. Lucians are the descendants of African slaves, brought in by the British in the early 19th century to work on sugar plantations. Savory was abolished in 1834. St. Lucia is home to one of the rarest lizards in the world, the St. Lucia whiptail lizard. Discovered in 1958, the lizard is the only species of its kind surviving in the Caribbean can only be found on two small islands. St. Lucia's national dish originated way back in the 19th century during its time of slavery. During that time, green bananas, green figs, were in abundance on the island and saltfish was imported cheaply from Canada to use as food for the slaves. As time passed, the slaves and other inhabitants of St. Lucia added their twist to the dish with various spices and seasonings. Like, share and subscribe to Sadra's Lifestyle.